In this video I'm going to show the basics of working in Clip Studio Paint EX. The first time you open up Clip Studio Paint it, it looks a little bit like this. And you first need to uh, create a new canvas. So go to File, New or press Command N. And there you get some different options. The first one is just a canvas. The second option is a canvas, but in a comic style, so you have comic panels. Then you can also make an entire comic in Clip Studio Paint, because it is really uh, catered to manga artists. Because it used to be called Manga Studio. Here you have another uh, canvas you can set up, and I think this one is... A single page and then you have animation but I'm gonna cover this in another uh, tutorial so we're first going to uh, select a new canvas and this is a4 in landscape mode and you can change it around by just pressing on these arrows so now it's landscape and now it's portrait so well, I'm going to use a landscape mode and here you can set the width and the height and the resolution you're going to work in. Press OK and now you've created a new canvas and the first thing I always look at is the layers and you have the layers set up here. And there are different kind of layers you can work in in Clip Studio Paint. This is a raster layer and you also have vector layers and you can find it so if you want to create a new raster layer, you have to press this icon. And when you uh, want to create a vector layer, because you can also work in vectors in Clip Studio Paint, you have to press on new vector layer. And here you can only draw in vectors. Then there are some other options as well. Uh, you can make a layer folder and uh, transfer to lower layer. So you can merge things down and combine to layer below and create a layer mask apply mask to layer and delete layer so i'm first going to select the raster layer and now we're going to the main tools you can draw with and it looks a little bit like photoshop so here you have the zoom and you have zoom in and zoom out but you can also control that by pressing command plus or com command minus and I always like to use shortcuts like that. You have also a move and a rotate tool and you can, here you can rotate and the pivot point is not in the middle I think and underneath there's also some tools you can zoom in and zoom out with it's it's way up here and if you want to reset your rotation you have a button here and then it's just without rotation and you can of course use the hand to move your canvas around but you can also do that by pressing the space bar and then your mouse will be uh, a draggable hand so you can move your uh, canvas around Here's the selection tool, lasso tool, and there are different kinds of lasso tools you can select. Rectangle, ellipse, lasso marquee, uh, polyline marquees. Then there's the selection pen, so you can use a pen for drawing your selection. Clear selection and shrink selection, so that's only going to work if you have made a selection before. Then there's the magic wand. That's the same thing. The color picker, pick up color from layer. Here are the pen tools you can ink with. So um, they're set up in two tabs. So these are the pens and these are the markers. And with all brushes, you can change them here. This is the, the menu to change your brush size, your opacity of the brush, 
anti-aliasing and you also have stabilization and now it's in the middle and if you want to have total stab stabilization you just press this but then the, the software Clip Studio Paint will uh, get some lag because it needs to stabilize everything you're drawing. There's also a menu for uh, default brush sizes, but you can also change it here or you can change it here. And underneath is the color wheel. So here's the color menu. It first starts out with the color wheel, so you can select the color in the ring and all the values in the middle. Next to it is the RGB slider, so you can pick colors with RGB and just use the RGB sliders. So next to the RGB slider are the color swatches and this is the default color set, but when you press here you have a lot of different options. So dark tone, deep tone, and you can of course make your own kind of uh, swatches. But let's get back to the pencils and they're just great pencils to draw with in um, Clip Studio Paint. So here's also uh, the set of pencils and you can of course adjust them and next to it is a tab for parcels and then you get a little bit more grain and you just just need to try out all the different uh, pencils. I really like the colored pencil because when you use that it has a bit of a structure to it. And I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. And now it's a little bit too fat. So when you press harder You can adjust the opacity of your brush. And a rough pencil. So when you press harder, your line will get bigger as well. And here you can adjust uh, the texture of your brushes. So there's just a lot of options and you can make your own uh, set of brushes by just choosing different kinds of textures. Then there is the paint uh, tool and there are just three taps. First you have watercolors, opaque watercolors and maybe I'm going to set it a little bit bigger. And the transparent watercolor, they're all set very small. And you just need to play around with all these uh, different sets. Because some uh, brushes are blend brushes and other brushes have more water uh, into it. And when you use a, a different color, it will blend structure or texture. So this has a little bit more of a texture to it. uneven layering brush. I'm not quite sure what that is doing, but you know, there's just a lot of brushes and you can adjust them uh, to your own needs. Next to it uh, on the tap is the oil paint and there are just three different kinds of oil paint. And the first one, you really need to press hard to get more paint out of it. And with the oil paint, you can also adjust the amount of paint that comes from your brush. So if you want to blend colors, just set it to zero or a lower opacity. And I'm just going to choose a different color just to show you. So just a red color, or magenta. Now I'm just pressing very lightly and you can see that it reacts very well. But if you increase the amount of paint, you don't have to press that hard on your stylus. There's also color stretch. I'm not quite sure what that is doing. Uh, 
there's just a lot of um, things you can change with your brushes and this is the flat brush and this is the color change brush and I really you know haven't played around with it that much but you know you can really paint very well with it there's also an airbrush or uh, I forgot this tab and these are just Indian inks and that one I'm just gonna zoom in has a bit of a texture to it but you can adjust all the brushes in clip studio paint this could be a very useful brush There's also uh, an airbrush and you have different kinds of uh, brushes to work with. Also like these kind of brushes, droplet. This is great for painting and uh, making some structures into your paintings. Then there's this brush and these are all effect brush so you have uh, a selection of nature flowers uh, horizontal striped clouds and I think you can make your own as well there's just a lot of different kind of uh, brushes you can use musical notes I never use these kind of things but you know it can be funny to use them there's just a lot of options you can work with and there's the the paint bucket tool gradient tool so you can uh, make a, a fast gradient and here you can adjust your gradients but they also have some uh, default gradients so if you want to uh, have a night sky for example or a, a midday sky then there you have it and here are some um, frames you can use so if you're um, making comics this is a uh, these are some great tools you can use and here you can just uh, make your own frame or a panel by using uh, polygon frames you can also divide the frames by just dragging this thing divide frame border and there's also um, a text tool you can work with and because this is uh, used to be called manga studio so there's just it's very catered to making comics so I'm just gonna open a new file and do a quick drawing so I'm first going to um, select the raster layer and by default it opens up with a raster layer to draw in so I'm just gonna select the color and just double tap on it and here you have an option for your colors and these are the apple colors uh, and you can change it here as well web save colors developer colors rgb sliders i need a little bit of a blue because i always start drawing in uh, a blue color because uh, i used to draw on paper and i'm still using it because when you make a sketch in blue and when you uh, create a new layer you can just uh, ink on top of it and you don't have to change the opacity of your layer so I'm now going to uh, draw one of my old characters which is called uh, Horus Hippo and I'm going to use the rough pencil and I'm going to ink this on a separate layer and then I'm going to create a vector layer so you can press here and then create a vector layer so now I'm choosing the pen tool and I'm going to choose the G pen 
and set the color to black. So I'm going to create a new layer uh, underneath the ink layer and just use a, a raster layer and I'm going to use the watercolor brush. And this character doesn't really have a lot of color so I'm first blocking in the main colors. It looks a bit like watercolor but maybe use the other brush and I'm gonna set it to white maybe do a wash in the nose of the character so this is just a, a simple demonstration and I can do a, a more elaborate tutorial on how to work in Clip Studio Paint but I just want to uh, show another cool feature that's really very handy when you, when you want to draw poses and here's a menu when you press on the arrow you get a menu with all kinds of materials you can use and these are of course all set up for uh, making comics so you have a lot of different uh, comics um, templates you can use but what I really liked about uh, Manga Studio and now Clip Studio Paint is that there are characters in 3D you can import into Clip Studio Paint. So if you want to draw a character in a certain pose, you can import them or you can even import hands. But let's say if you want to uh, draw a character running, you just drag it in and now it's on top it's on a different layer and I'm just gonna zoom in and what you can do with this um, image is you can uh, turn it around so you can also you know draw on top of it or next to it and if you have a pose and want to change it can do that by using these um, controls and here you can change all kinds of limbs and make him look the other way so this is just the perfect you know tool if you're doing comics or an illustration and uh, you want to uh, have a certain pose you can just turn it around and this is from underneath I think this is the the, the coolest feature of manga studio or clip studio paint I hope you enjoyed this uh, basic tutorial about Clip Studio Paint. Um, maybe in the future I can do uh, more tutorials about how to draw in Clip Studio Paint. But these are just the basics of all the tools you can use. And especially the 3D characters are a big plus. There's also a perspective grid you can use in uh, Clip Studio Paint and a lot of other cool features but please let me know in the comments down below if you want me to do more tutorials on clip studio paint drawing is fun and practice makes perfect see you next time doodles